So today's event marks 20 years since the publication of Learning for Life, the white paper on adult education. And the focus of today's event is to bring the key players in community education together to hear the impact of independently managed community education providers and the challenges and successes since 2000. I always felt like, you know, oh, so I couldn't go for that, I couldn't go for this. Like, you know, age really is only a number. It brings out the confidence in people. When you're comfortable in your environment, it brings out the confidence, it brings out the leadership skills. Community education is, it empowers you as a woman or a man that has gone back to education and it gives you advice and uh, it's a place of healing. For me to now, I would say community education through UNCOSAN has empowered me and supported me to support others and promote integration and be a strong advocate. We were treated like adults, unlike some other places I've been to. That was the biggest thing for me. If you treat people with respect and like adults, you in turn will get treated like that too. So what we're trying to look at is like how can we have a better, more cohesive funding system that covers everything that's needed. Our second goal is to create a thriving community education sector. And in order to do that, we want to get the best possible data and information available. So it's, what we're trying to do is to create a more authentic, realistic, accurate picture in terms of community education. Who engages, how it's funded, what the outcomes are, what does progression mean? What we're hoping is that community education will be seen as an integral part of education provision regionally. How do we create like a learner-centred uh, funding model? Because ultimately, we want the learners to be able to get the best possible experience. We really believe that this is absolutely worth investing in. So we're you know, willing, uh, we'll, we'll be critical friends, partners and supporters, but we're developing our evidence base to really support the development of an effective funding model for community education so that learners get the best possible experience. We were driven by a particular kind of philosophy and the white paper in adult education was never the white paper in adult education, it was the white paper, it was learning for life. The brightness in it is where it always was, which is in the creativity and in the capability of released human potential that education sets you free. What community education is trying to achieve, and you know, is absolutely square with and aligned with what government would wish to achieve for society through the uh, National Planning Framework and Project Ireland uh, 2040. We're talking about an integrated system, a system that addresses all needs of all learners and community education clearly has a role in, the, in that respect. You know, have things changed, have things improved? The last 10 years have been really tough and I would say some of that difficulty was the cut in the community and voluntary sector, not just community ed. We lost all our other funding. Sustainable funding is really important for the sector, but so is um, building alliances together. And all of us who are involved and passionate about adult community education collaborating together. Entus has been given the task by the Department of being the national coordinator for the European Agenda on Adult Learning and they do that um, really with commitment. I think I could safely say that for many member states um, they are a role model in the area of uh, community education and they've really put it on the map in this whole discussion of um, adult learning. I believe that the natural home for community education is further education and training, but I think it's going to require a bit of change on, on all sides to get where we, we want to go, but I think we do have a clear direction that's set out for the future. Our fear at the moment and our experience is that we are moving away from innovation for learner outcomes and we're moving towards innovation for survival. And you know, we don't even want to go down into the, the whole euro signs or dollar signs, but it's about the investment in learners in, in community education. And it's about looking at all of the ancillary supports that are needed to keep the community education centres open. So over 20 years, I've just seen the transformation of so many people whether it be into employment, even just being able to be better parents, or just remaining linked in with society. It changed my life completely. Community education is really important, and I can see it on the ground in Limerick City, both for individuals, for families, uh, and for communities, because it really is a social space, it's a safe space, it brings communities together, 